Hey guys, so this episode is about what it's like to use the CRT TV now. You guys should remember these TV, these heavy, bulky box TVs that everyone used to use back then. A TV built with a hard shell, a bulky fat look to it, and a screen being made of glass. It's a Samsung TV that Samsung no longer made. The TV itself was manufactured in May 1997. The TV itself has speakers and signs and components that you need. The reason why you guys are wondering why there's no signal is due to analog TV was shut down May 12, 2009, like it said on the news. CBS News back then in 2009 has shut down analog because it's due to when they were switching to digital. It's due to how weak, because if there's digital, analog would be too weak for the signal nowadays. And they had terrible quality. For the TV, I also had a converter box DVD player, which is I usually call it the converter because it reminds me of a digital. But the reason I got this in mind for the TV, if I want to um, watch TV on it, like I could put digit, so I could put um, SpongeBob SquarePants and stuff like that. Like it would look good for um, old movies and stuff like that. That's why I got the DVD player for. As in mind. I got a DVD player, as that I opened it up, I put in a DVD called Spongebob Squarepants that my parents got me when I was 4 years old. As I booted it up, the DVD player looked as fine. What really impressed me is, I love the environment, how the TV is, and it's kind of like looking through a window. That's one thing, it's still kind of pixely too. I also wanted to do gaming by testing it with my PS4. If I had a PS4, I would have to get a HDMI converter box because the CRT doesn't have HDMI so I could play on my PS4. As I connected it, I noticed that it kind of I noticed that it worked and I had to flip the switch just to make it work on a CRT. Once I checked my RCA adapter, I turned on and activated the CRT. I had to wait till it turns on because it takes a long time to just to turn on. As I turn it on, as I turn it on, um, there was something wrong. You see, like how that's spinning. It's due to how the old uh, DRC adapter is to the TV. I don't think it can stand my PS4. I looked close and wanted to see what these type of pixels or something. I know these are not pixels, but as I looked. It looked pretty interesting. As I got closely, it actually you could actually see them, which is it's pretty interesting and strange. There are some facts why people do not use CRTs now, because it's due to how bulky and heavy they are. Is because back then in 2006, a little girl was killed by a CRT TV because it it fell on her face and blew up in her face. I know it's actually not funny, but it's actually sad. And this is why in 2008, people, they, um, Samsung and other brands started, um, stopped producing CRT TVs before 2010. As, they, like, um, that Samsung no longer the reason why people switch was because CRT yes, TVs used they to not no longer be set up. It'll take, like, two people if they're huge. And and if it's like a ten small years size before, like this about one, ten it years won't before be such I was a problem. Born. But one thing I love about CRT TVs is I think they're pretty cool still nowadays. Is because people are starting to use um, them for retro gaming. I got this one for retro gaming because I'm gonna start collecting retro consoles nowadays. So yeah. What's so interesting is the reason why it flickers, which is on camera, mine, it doesn't flicker, but on other videos you guys see on, on YouTube, you see them flicker, is like how the electron guns, it goes like down, like, go whoosh, 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 like that, and when, yes, it's like a, yes, and this is one thing, and what else I love about this TV is, I think back then, kids used to have fun, when you touch a screen, it's like static, and it will shock you, 
it won't be painful. It will just kind of feel weird or something. And it's actually kind of fun, popping noises. It's pretty really fun. That's what I love doing. So, yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. What's pretty interesting, like, what it's called is they have a, like, a cathode ray tube, which is it makes it heavy. The bigger the um, tube is, the thicker the glass has to be, which is, that is why most um, of these TVs are really, really heavy. Because how thick the glass is. I, if you see videos that you smash one, you'll find the glass, like, like how big. And they had a, they have electron guns that would have, um, that will make the TV flicker on camera. It'll trick your eye, but on my camera, it doesn't flicker for me, so, yeah, I will see you, yes. As you walk into a modern store, you won't be able to see CRTs for sale due to how they stop manufacturing, but you can only buy them in China or other countries that are brand new. I hope you guys enjoy my review, how a review my CRT TV. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!